New this morning, a new study is drawing a link between a common chemical in our country and Parkinson's disease. Yeah, that's right, it's called TCE, and our Nine News health expert, Dr. Paul Coley, is joining us now to talk all about this. Dr. Coley, good morning. Good morning. What exactly is TCE? Yeah, I didn't know this myself. I had to look it up. Trichloroethylene. It's, an, it's a chlorinated solvent that's found in many different industrial applications. So I want you guys to think back to the 1920s when we first started using it. Lots of dry cleaning uses, lots of industrial uses. It's a, a machine degreaser. So you oh. can think of all the you know manufacturing plants that use it, but we also use it in our everyday life. Things like wood stains, uh, paint remover, stain remover, they all have this TCE chemical, which we've seen a accumulated health risks from over the last several decades. So how is it linked to Parkinson's? Yeah, so this is epidemiologic data showed us that people who've been very closely exposed to TCE, so think about workers working in these factories, have a 500% wow. higher risk of Parkinson's. And if you look in animal models and expose the animals to TCE, you see that it crosses into the blood-brain barrier, so gets into the brain, causes direct toxicity and damage to the neurons that control movement in the area of the brain called the substantia nigra, which is the part that's damaged in Parkinson's. Oh my gosh, okay, so yeah. according to the study, how is this affecting Americans then? Because I mean, everything you listed, I just built a house and we just <laughs> yeah. moved in. I'm mm -hmm. like, I have every single one of those things you listed in my house right now. Right, well, not only that, you say, okay, well, I don't work in a manufacturing plant, so I'm protected. But the most common way to be exposed to TCE is actually inhalation because it gets into the environment, into our air. And it's very common to see it in what's called the rust belt of the United States. So the closer yeah. obviously you live to a manufacturing facility and even in our water. So you can even ingest the TCE. And what they found in this particular study is that there was a dose dependent relationship between how close you were to those chemical plants in the Rust Belt and your risk of developing Parkinson's. So when we think about Parkinson's, we want to think about it like a two hit problem. So your first hit is your genetic predisposition. Mm -hmm. So not everyone right. exposed to TCE will necessarily go on to get Parkinson's. But that second hit is this environmental factor that we haven't quite understood. We just know we're seeing more Parkinson's than ever before. And the fact that it's dropping off in a dose dependent fashion really suggests that this could be one of those missing links, oh. the TCE. And because of that, the EPA is actually last year, Michael J. Fox led this initiative mm. to get TCE banned. But you can imagine it takes a long time to ban a chemical. So even though they've officially put the ban in place by January 2025, they're going to try to take it out of our common everyday products, but they still need to use it.